see this little rat cat right here? I decided that I wanted to have my room back, so I'm not sharing my room with my pets anymore. But he can manage to get through that little space above my door. And I've done everything and I've put things there to try to prevent him from getting over, but no. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the start of my second video. I'm not sure my face yet. I have to shower, do hair, do makeup. Here's my silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you like the, my favorite thing to eat right now that's like pretty healthy and I've lost 10 pounds since my first video so I'm feeling good about that. And yeah, see you soon. I just have, I have to show you my absolute favorite thing right now. It's like avocado toast to the next level. I add cucumber, chia seeds, sesame seeds, sometimes nutritional yeast, and sea salt. And it has to be done on sourdough. This sourdough specifically, it's so good. Don't read the ingredients and tell me that it's garbage. <laughs> anyway, so, and then what I do sometimes, I just eat it like that, but then sometimes I put a dressing on top. So one is sesame Thai and the other is balsamic. So these are the things I'm using. Um, here's the tea that I love that I mentioned last time. Hello, it's Maxine. Oh, I didn't even say my name before. <laughs> Anyway, I decided to get glam today for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I guess I was thinking like of taking you on a tour of what it's like to live in a trailer today. Uh, woo, I feel nervous off the bat because I don't even like FaceTime with people or like scene. I have thought about changing my name at times in my life because I thought that, you know, maybe changing my whole name first and last name would help with them um, healing from trauma. I don't know why I'm not like laughing at that. I, that's just a habit of mine, <laughs> but, um, I decided to get glam today and I'm not really goth. I'm not punk. I'm not metal. I'm not pop even though I say like a million times <laughs> but um, sometimes black lipstick goes well <laughs> so we're starting in the bedroom it's honestly like so tight <laughs> I had to get a new mattress because um, even though I was using a dehumidifier all the time and people warned me about this I didn't get this underlay thingy called um, hypervent and that prevents mold because it allows airflow underneath so i had to get a new mattress that is like so high up it's like here's my hips and here's the bed i have to like leap in every day but yeah i leave my um closet doors open just for airflow and there's all my dresses and shirts every child matters and I put some extra shoes there and I make it worse for myself because I'm not using my storage very well right now. So I have my like laundry, clean laundry here and then there's only like this much space and then I make it even worse for myself by having these string lights, but they're just so pretty. I have to show you like, look at that. It just makes. It's the little things in life. <laughs> and the map of the world. I don't know why. I just love it. And I love like looking at it and learning where like there's people who don't even know Canada is right above the United States. I just want to learn where the countries are in the world and like 
the best I can and I want to see more of the world. So far I've only been like across Canada and not in the Maritimes and I've been to the UK and New York. I mean, I know that's really awesome and it's more than what a lot of people get to experience in their life. It's just that I would like to see a lot more of it someday, but I cannot afford that considering I'm living in a trailer. Another little dehumidifier. You need them. It's, I live in BC and it's like, you know, it rains often and even if it you live in a climate that doesn't rain often or doesn't seem like it's very humid. You need a dehumidifier in your trailer. It's like not a joke. <laughs> I had like severe mold under here. Like I'll even show a picture. So if you know anyone who lives in a trailer full time, you need to get them to check under their mattress all the way. Because I just was like peeling up the edges and it wasn't enough. I didn't see that there was like a circle of mold right in the middle and it's not from like soiling yourself or anything. It's just from, I don't know, I've heard a couple different theories on why that happens. Like our, we have storage under our beds most of the time. So cold airflow, cold airflow and then your hot breath in the room or I don't know. But anyway, and Let's show you more. Oh, my cat wants to get in here. Ninj. Back up. <laughs> I used to let my pet sleep with me, but I just can't do it anymore for several reasons. But the most, the main reason is that I found my skin, like the acne I had had and everything has almost completely disappeared since not sharing with them so it's really sad but it is good to have your own space too even in a small travel trailer but yeah here's the door here's the tv entertainment center <laughs> there's baba everyone's having a nap hi sweetie <laughs> here's rain i call her rainy <laughs> oh, is everyone thirsty? Here's Zena. She wasn't feeling good all yesterday. She had bad diarrhea. Poor girl. So she's kind of tired. Oh. <laughs> Are you being a model for the camera? <laughs> Ninja, as you know. A little attention grabber seeker. <laughs> Here's um I'm creating like jewelry, so all my like rocks and things, and that's not even all of it. Animal toys, laptop. I'll show you a view from back here what it's kind of like. Like it's pretty nice for a trailer. We looked at a lot of them and it has a lot of space in here. It's just that for our weight limit, like me and my mom, because we used to live in here together for a short time, only a few months, and we moved from Manitoba. And I have a Chevy Tahoe, and it has an upgraded towing package, and it could only pull so much, so... Oh. <laughs> anyway, um... So as I was saying about the pulling limit, I couldn't get a fifth wheel. But if I could do everything over again, we shouldn't have got the Chevy Tahoe. We should have got a truck and we should have got a fifth wheel because it was like 10,000 times better. Like it's about the same length, but there's just a lot more ceiling room in a fifth wheel. Okay, Ninja, no. She eats like everything. Like she has pica like she likes to eat things she's not supposed to eat and oh I had hair elastics just going missing left and right for absolutely no reason but it turns out that she was eating them and I know someone else mentioned when I made like a comment on TikTok about it they said that their cat was eating elastics and it turned into like a huge vet bill and probably could have lost their cat. So, oh, look, she's mad at me. <laughs> she's like, you took away my, <laughs> my, 
my food. Maybe everyone wants a treat. Oh, <gasps> treats. Mm. Is there a treat? Mm. Okay. Everyone's munching. Rainy ate all her. She's the fastest eater on the planet. <laughs> Zane is feeling better, so she's eating. This is like a super heavy duty dehumidifier that I have going like almost all the time. I just turned it off for this video. And even then, I pulled up these cushions today and there was mold behind it. Like, what the hell? It's pretty scary. So I put some of this like stuff I got from Canadian Tire, like specifically for mold behind there. This is supposed to be good for that. So we do not want mold. I already have lung issues, as I said, growing up with like chain smoking in the house. And so I'm trying to protect my lungs. And what other things can I show you? I have a, <laughs> um, yeah, see pennies I collect and I went to a punk show with this band Awkward and or they were there I didn't go with them but I had to get this I used to have a lot of patches from when I was young like the Planet Smashers and I don't know I saw Green Day and there's other local bands like Porta Moral and I'll have to go through them one day the Brat Attack I like like a wide range like range of music like from rock to punk to ska to pop and some metal and really like everything I love music from around the world I just don't listen to it all too much but and look we have dinosaur poop <laughs> we have other little fossils in here The Nat National Geographic has like this thing on Amazon you can buy and it has all kinds of things in there and geodes and it's really neat and see I used to have a lot more candles but even now like having quite a few at once I was trying to move into this trailer and live like a minimal lifestyle and it turns into me just buying 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 so I need to get my spending together. Here's my fridge with <laughs> like all my food sensitivities. I went to a doctor and got that. Like, look, these are my elevated. Like, look at all the things I'm not really supposed to be having like on a daily basis. Borderline. And then these are in the normal range. I recommend everyone to get this done if you can like it's not cheap but if you're having issues everything from like skin to gut health and brain fog and just anything like bowel issues like you need to get this done at some time in your life like I wish everyone had access to this information because I feel like ever since I found out about my food sensitivities even more so than weight loss. Like, finding out about this was, like, the most important piece of the puzzle. Like, to... I felt like I was dying a lot of my life. It's like, every time I ate anything, I thought, what is wrong with me? Why am I getting sick? And some people said, do, the, like, the elimination diet or whatever. And I just didn't bother doing that. Because it turns out, I do have so many. Like, it would have... <laughs> I would have probably had a reaction to something in the normal range and drove myself nuts. So, because if you eat that in combination with this and la la la. Anyway, I got this done and I always tell people like to please do it because I just think it could like help a lot of people. And, and the thing about it too, I've noticed is that if I like... If I avoid a lot of my elevated foods for a while, my gut health is stronger so that if I do have them on occasion, like it's not nearly as bad, like the bloating and being uncomfortable and like, you know, 
bowel issues, if you're having constipation, <laughs> diarrhea, <laughs> all that. This is really corny when I put a baby picture of me on the fridge because it's like, I just wanted it as motivation. Like, I'm going to protect you, like little baby, the way that you weren't protected growing up. And I'm taking steps now to like better my health in terms of weight loss and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so there's an extra bed here. This table can like fold down into a little bed, tiny little like single. And then this can as well, this table, which is really cool. Here's some extra storage. This is where I was doing my makeup. The cat tree. <laughs> Here's my um, rock tumbler that I'm using. Here's the scale. So I'm going to prove to you. I told you guys I was in the 280s. And now I'm in the 270s. And you know, you know keep in mind, like, I've eaten today. I've drank water. By the morning, I'll be down a few pounds from what number this is now. But, oh. Oh, I didn't know I could just leap on it. and Oh, it just told me 276 a moment ago. <laughs> oh, whatever. Somehow I gained a pound and just from talking. <laughs> Some of my plants and my Coraline cup. I love that movie so much. Oh, I just remembered that I wanted to go through some of the products that I love because I try to use like cruelty free and vegan as often as I can. This I love. I used it to do dishes, but I used it to clean my trailer. I use it to like clean the septic and is it even, you know, not test on animals. That logo, I don't know, like, are they supposed to use one specific logo or that doesn't look like the right one but hopefully it's accurate I don't think method oh are they saying it like what logo is that is that official <laughs> like that's the logo I thought represents like cruelty free anyway I love this hand soap <gasps> Oh gosh, all the different flavors in this. I never get dry hands and I like wash my hands so much. I just have a scratch there. That's why it looks dry. But I am OCD about washing my hands and that soap is the best. And it lasts a long time because it's like foam. And uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, not everything I have is vegan cruelty free. Oh, I didn't show you guys the bathroom. So look how small it is. It is itty bitty and that's where the litter box has to go. And here's some of my products like shampoo, conditioner. This stuff's not bad. And vegan cruelty free, I believe. Here's something else that I've tried recently. I like it, but it has um, exfoliating, and I usually don't buy anything with those little micro beads, so I probably won't buy that again. But I was just looking for a long time for vegan cruelty-free products, and and it was a decent size, and it smells awesome though. Citrus and sage, Tom's toothpaste is my favorite. Usually, I get the fennel. I don't think this is for sure. This is something new I'm trying. It's like a facial toner mist. This is awesome. I don't use it in the shower. I just put a little on my wrist, but it is like oil. So it might stain your clothing if you plan to do that. But it's oh, peony and patchouli. It's awesome. And this is like a facial mist as well with like caffeine and coconut. I like that. And this hair oil, tea tree and aloe. But yeah, these are my, I've been trying my best, like not everything here is vegan cruelty free and I could do better, but even brands like this where 
like no animal in greetings oh that's not cruelty free oh or or testing oh i thought they're supposed to use like one label anything else isn't legit <laughs> i don't know oh my angel <laughs> sweetie i always grew up with um tabby cats so, and they've all lived to be like in their 20s. <laughs> Most of them were outdoor cats, and I think that attributes a lot to the reason they live so long, but also, um, just you know, even though there's a risk with that, and some people will tear me to shreds and say, like, you don't care about your cat if you let them outdoors, but can you imagine just being inside all year round? Like, people think. Well, their animals don't know any better and they're happy, but believe me, they live a better life out there. <laughs> Just imagine, it'd be like being in prison all your life. Not like playing, chasing bugs and whatever. <laughs> right, bub? But on the other hand, if I had known when I got them that I was going to be moving into a trailer, maybe I wouldn't have brought them home which is like just a really sad fact but going from like a house with a yard and space in the country to like a trailer park I just can't let them ro roam free anymore so I have that Ikea or no Ikea <laughs> Amazon tunnel it's pretty awesome they do like that it's just tipped over from the wind hello so I know 10 pounds is not very much from like when you're in your high 200s and your weight, but it's something and that was less than a month ago because I'm pretty sure I recorded that like late March and it's only like, you know, maybe the first week or so. What day is it? The ninth today. So yeah, like... Three weeks, 10 pounds, at least I've kept it down and I feel motivated and you probably won't notice many differences yet. I mean, I don't really, I haven't really feel it, like I don't feel like I've been putting in really that much effort. I just have been eating really simply lately, so maybe that's helping, but um, like, oh, I'm going to post my absolute favorite thing to eat <laughs> lately. It's like avocado toast, but upgraded version. Okay, I think my dog really has to poop. She wasn't feeling good yesterday. And it's getting stinky in here. <laughs> so we're going to take her on a walk and we'll be back. I'm back. We're back. Okay took them for a longer walk than my usual. I usually walk them around like probably more times in a day than the average dog, but not as like long as, so I don't know, I guess it balances out. Oh, I was just thinking that doing my makeup is like a sore subject for me because, um, well, I barely do it these days because I'm not like back at work yet. But I would never do it this extreme at like an everyday job where I didn't do this certainly like at my home daycare. <laughs> but um, I was just thinking that like, oh, it's kind of a sore subject because like I was saying in my last video, like not to bring it up again, but about my um, makeup collection, it was like, you know, it was sort of, there's dogs drinking water always something loud in the background <laughs> to distract me <laughs> but anyway um <laughs> it's like a sore subject because like when I lost 70 pounds um that's around the time when I like started my makeup collection and doing my makeup was like a nice outlet for me like to get creative to feel better about myself and to put effort and time into something instead of like 
just having no makeup, bare face, n not doing my hair, not really, like, I don't know, it was kind of like giving up on yourself in my, like, I don't know, I think the first, till probably 28 years old, I didn't, from like, <laughs> whoa, I have to start this over, <laughs> From probably like as early as 11 years old to like 28 years old, I almost never left the house without makeup and so it's something I like had to do every single day and then like around 28 is when I really stopped doing that or at least started minimizing what I was doing and then when I lost weight again was feeling better about myself like several years in um whew, what was I saying so finally I kind of found an outlet like it all started with like the Shane Dawson series I got really into that and it's kind of funny because like no one ever mentioned that to me and I hadn't ever really spent a lot of time on YouTube before I would like look up the look up music or like once in a while like a DIY project or something but I hardly ever used YouTube and then right around that time like no one even mentioned to me that like this thing was taking off and how popular it was I just kind of stumbled upon it and and I just like really admired how vulnerable they were and like I t really identified with their some of their stories like about whether it be weight with Shane and because I, well, I identify with a lot of his life, actually, like, um, his childhood, like, poverty, and, like, maybe the abuse, or, um, like, alcoholism, and, uh, and then being really overweight, and losing weight, and body dysmorphia, and all of that, and, and like with anyways like I don't know why I'm getting like so far deep into that but I just identified with their stories and I thought it was sort of admirable like you don't really hear of celebrities being that open or at least I wasn't used to it or I didn't really care for a lot of celebrity stories the way a lot of people obsess over celebrities I just never did and so to come across that and well it was all interesting, like the way they made it seem, the way they edited it, everything about it was so fascinating. And, and then, so that's when I got into his makeup and with everyone reviewing it and talking about how awesome it was, I just had to try it because I had never really like spent a lot of money on makeup in my life. Uh, like I'd have spent a lot of money on makeup in my life starting so young to do makeup on myself but I had never put in effort like I never knew how to blend or like not that my eyebrows look very good right now but I didn't know how to like do anything and I was just I would just do it as quickly as I could and then I would leave I would never learned how to like contour or um like use concealer nothing I so this is like yeah, I just found it really fun to like learn about it and and um So what I was trying to get to is that um like the reason this face <laughs> the reason why makeup's like a sore subject right now is because uh once I decided that I wasn't going to support Jeffrey anymore like there was a lot of issues before um but so once it kind of just hurt my feelings a lot like because I had like put in so much effort into building my collection it was something I kind of enjoyed doing I wasn't doing any sort of reviews like in front of the camera but I was reviewing things and like maybe making like a little like caption about it or something or I was like uploading a lot of shorts on YouTube and trying to figure out how that worked 
Uh, nothing really like ever took off with that because you have to t get a million views in 90 days. So I'm like, oh, well, good luck. Something like that. It's just way too much. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'm not ever going to get monetized. <laughs> but, um, so every time I lose my thought, I have to stop the video so I at least could edit out the last part. So, uh, just once I decided I was no longer going to support, then I kind of just stopped having interest in doing my makeup at all. So, oh, my eyeliner's really bad. <laughs> my teeth look nice and white with this weirdo. Valora liquid, liquid lipstick. So, anyway, um... What was I saying? It was just like an outlet for me that I really enjoyed and so not being able to like, just not having the desire anymore like to do it than all, like, cause I don't know, it was just weird. It was like doing my makeup really helped me to get motivated to like feel better about myself and continue on with weight loss. And then when I stopped doing that, then it's like I stopped caring about my weight. So my weight went back up. So it was kind of like all at once. Well, I think I definitely started gaining actually before I decided I wasn't going to support anymore. But anyways, it's like I had thousands of dollars worth of makeup and I ended up selling like most of it and accessories and everything like that because um but anyway and when I say thousands I do mean thousands but not like 10 grand or anything but still a lot more than one what one person needs especially when you're not like really I'm not like a makeup artist I'm not doing it every single day or doing it on other people or like really reviewing so it was definitely like a waste I start feeling a little insecure thinking how ridiculous it is to like spend my hard-earned money on makeup that's just gonna sit there and it literally has an expiration of like a year or two years so I was feeling kind of guilty about that because and that kind of like maybe transpired how I got here into this trailer because I was like thinking about how I wanted to live more of a minimalistic lifestyle and I definitely wanted to get out of Manitoba and back to BC and so that's kind of just how it all started and then I didn't really even have room for all that makeup anymore so I, I had to like find ways to get rid of it and I don't think anyone cares about this, but, <laughs> uh, I am going to start using it because like, it does make me feel better about myself. Like you can just go from like a bare face where I have like barely any eyebrows and my eyelashes are really light and they're long, but they're so thin and light, you can barely see them. And then I have like really bad rosacea and scars and skin issues. And so when I like throw this all on, I just feel a lot better about myself. <sighs> Funny story about my short hair is I used to always have long hair, medium length hair, and I just would never mat like I would I don't know, I just chopped it all off and it was kind of like just it was like during the pandemic when everyone was doing that. And for me personally, my reasoning, it wasn't like a, the fad like just to do it because it was just sort of the memo behind it where it's like, you know, my hair was so important to me or it was like the only thing I liked about myself. And I just thought how ridiculous, like not really the only thing I liked about myself, but physically it's like hair. Like that was one of the only things I liked about myself. 
and so that I thought if I just cut it all off, start fresh, all the, you know, dyeing and all that, just go back to natural, I thought. I just thought that, like, I need to really reevaluate, like, what is important and hair is not important and what you look like is not important. Like, yes, I'm on a weight loss. Like, I have weight loss goals, but that's more so for, like, how I feel on the inside. It, like, affects everything. And I do have fibromyalgia. I didn't really talk about that in the last video. And so the added weight definitely doesn't help with how I feel. So... Anywho, so, um, yeah, what did I do in this video today? So I, I took you on a tour, I showed you, like, my favorite thing to eat at the moment, and I think it's helping a lot with weight loss. I mean, like, avocados, cucumbers, really good for you. All the little extra stuff is probably not that necessary, but... And then I'll probably get sick of that and move on. And I tend to eat the same things often, but like in little blocks, like I'll eat this until I get completely sick of it and then I'll move on to the next thing. But I could easily eat like the same thing every day. I do like cooking, but I don't know. I say I like cooking, but I don't. I'm not like a baker and there's nothing scientific about it. I just <laughs> come up with creations all on my own and I've fed my friends in the past and they, they've enjoyed what I've made or like my mom and other people, but um, I don't have any like education on cooking and and when it's just for myself, I don't know. I just keep it simple and I really don't have money to be experimenting with anything like these days. I'm not working now and I am a disabled person, like both physical and mental. I have autism, CPTSD, ADHD, OCD, depression, anxiety, like it all kind of falls together with the two main things, which is autism and CPTSD. A lot of people tell me like, oh, you don't seem autistic. And I really hate that. Like <laughs> you, um, I'm just a completely different person and how I can communicate like after becoming a server before that I was like almost like a mute at times. Like I, I, I don't know, like so I was disruptive at times, like in school and I was like hyperactive at times and other times I was like really quiet and to myself, like probably depending what was going on in my life. But in terms of being able to like get my words out to you, like the way I'm doing right now, it was complete, it's completely night and day. Like after like serving just completely took me out of my comfort zone and it was really harmful in a lot of ways, like in the long run. That's why I stopped doing it. But I do, I am thankful for that time in my life in other ways because it just, well, it helped me lose weight and actually keep the weight off for a while. And like being active, even though I was like in pain and agony, <laughs> um, like due to my fibromyalgia symptoms, but Anyway, um, just in terms of being able to communicate, like, and then I've had other jobs because of that job and how it impacted me and helped me verbally and that it got me into other things like customer service or, um, telemarketing. Oh God, that was the worst time of my life. <laughs> anyway, I'm never going to ever mention telemarketing because it was absolutely horrific, but yeah, um, what do you guys think? I know my eyebrows are a train wreck, but 
I'm liking all the extra glitter. <laughs> so, what was I saying? So, I'm talking about makeup, weight loss, jobs. God, what was I saying before? Like, why did I go off on a tangent? Even though it's early, everyone's starving. You hungry? Oh, she's happy. <laughs> Zena, where's your ball? Where's your ball? <laughs> Bubba just put his tail in my mouth. <laughs> hey. Where's your ball? Where's your twin? <laughs> I love when she does that. Oh. Anyway, I really had to look back at what I was saying because I was like, what the hell? I go from one point to the next and it's really hard to remember what <laughs> the point was. <laughs> but, um, oh, and I'm really sorry to people who are going to get grossed out by my videos where I'm like always doing this, doing that, like I was playing with my ear and I do have like really bad habits, like. I have to keep my hands busy and I don't really even realize I'm doing it, but I'll promise not to pick my nose in front of you. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think I was talking about how I just don't like when people say you don't seem autistic. Like, I'm going to read to you my list of reasons as to why I'm autistic between childhood to now and then you'll say, oh, well. Some of you will get it. <laughs> Some of you will just know and then others will say, no, you're not.